Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the NASDAQ Spotlight. I'm your host, Jack Castle, and joining us today from the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Center in downtown San Francisco is the co-founder and CEO of Zip, Rajul Zaparde. Rajul, thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So just for the audience, let's start off. Tell us a little bit about Zip and the solutions you provide. So Zip provides one front door for any employee in an organization to make a purchase request. And then we route that request across you know, all of the teams that need to approve. So finance, legal, IT, security, all the cross-functional teams, and then connect into the ERP or financial system. And so we really help CFOs, especially in today's environment, get much earlier and crisper visibility into the spend that they have. Okay. Now, procurement can often feel like a deep and tractable challenge, especially at the enterprise level. So how do you advise uh, your customers mm -hmm. on navigating that experience? Yeah, you know, it's so often uh, we see that, uh, you know, the, the right path is often just by default the most convoluted path mm -hmm. to make a purchase and get it approved and go through all the different teams, right? And what happens is then employees don't adopt the process. And employee adoption of the procurement process is so critical because then you get notified earlier, before the spend actually happens, earlier in the process so you can negotiate, drive more leverage, select the right vendor. Um, again, all really, really impo you know, important topics in, in today's environment. Uh, and you know, what Zip really does, and what I think it's really important for companies to have is one front door, mm. one place. Anyone need something? Great, go to one place. No training required, no explanation, no complicated. Uh, uh, sort of nuance and, and questions, answer answer uh, what's in front of you, hit submit, and uh, uh, leadership is visibility, and you have visibility as the requester into what the process will actually look like. Yeah, that seems like a good streamline and very efficient, which everybody's driving for these days. Very critical today. Yeah, um, so with that and efficiencies, there's obviously been a big tre trend this year, at least in the headlines, around the emergence of AI. And so I want to ask, what, are, what do you feel the implications are for Zip regarding AI and, and how will that affect your business, if so? Yeah, no, I mean, we're really excited about the trend, uh, you know, and there's, uh, there are so many parts of the procurement process and, and, and the workflow that can, you know, oftentimes feel redundant or repetitive or making very similar requests one after the other. And so we have a, we have a dedicated small working group at the company uh, that's really focused uh, on on uh, on AI and, and how we can you know streamline the product and, and make it better, um, but I would not say, if I'm being candid too, that it's a multi-order sort of step change difference for 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 us and in our industry today. Like it may be for you know other companies and other industries. Yeah, well, that's going to be exciting to see. You're at the forefront of that already. No, absolutely. We're I mean, it's 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 only been like six months. Uh, <laughs> so who knows it's what the next six carry. That's it. That's it. Um, one question we like to ask uh, founders, especially, is uh, maybe a bit of advice for the entrepreneurs or the other founders that are watching today. What's some advice you'd have for them in starting a company now, especially in this environment? That's a great question. I think, you know, this environment really uh, rewards good behavior from founders. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, if you look at a, in a frothy environment, you're much more rewarded for higher, like you, you, know, you, you raise a round, early seed round, whatever it might be. You feel like you need to hire, you need to do all these things. Um, but actually, if you're pre-product market fit, you don't need to hire. You need to actually keep the team really small, clear, focused, so you can go find product market fit quickly and then, and then grow. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, as a founder, early on, it's so hard to get truth from people, right? Like it's, it's if, you, if you're making something that maybe people actually don't want for whatever reason, it's hard to, you know, as a stranger, you're not gonna, you don't wanna sort of tell someone that their idea is not good, right? Uh, uh, right? Uh, and and uh, in, in today's environment, it's much harder to actually justify a purchase. Mm. Uh, and so if someone actually buys the product that you have or the thing that you're selling, you actually have that much more confidence uh, that you have something with real market fit and someone's buying you know, what they think is a pill and not a vitamin, uh, which may have been the case uh, in frothier environments. And so uh, in a way, there's actually a real silver lining uh, to the macro climate today. Yeah, that's very good perspective. Appreciate that. Uh, well, it's such a pleasure meeting you and having you on the show today. Congratulations again for being selected to the Enterprise Tech 30 list. No, thank you. We're honored and very, very happy to be here.